Corey Hammond developed post-traumatic epilepsy after being hit by a car while riding a scooter in 1997. He dealt with his seizures through college, but over time, his seizures were getting longer, more frequent, and more debilitating. It wasn't safe for him to work or drive, and he was unable to do the things he loved in life, like surfing and scuba diving. Corey's case was complex because post-traumatic brain injuries can be more widespread than other types of brain injuries. Doctors had to pay careful attention to his language-dominant hemisphere, and they were very concerned about his verbal functions post-surgery. The benefits, they said, must outweigh the risks. UF Health neurosurgeon Stephen Roper and UF Health neurologist Gene Sibula and Maria Hella helped him visualize what the possible outcome would be like. Dr. Roper placed subdural grid electrodes on the surface of Corey's brain so the team could more precisely localize his seizures and map his language functions. Then he performed a left anterior temporal lobectomy. Corey hasn't had a seizure since the surgery more than a year ago. Dr. Hella said it's important for physicians to always consider the personal and emotional lives of the patients. Corey said when surgery was suggested as an option to get rid of his seizures, well, he was all in. He said he felt like he had a part to play, and that was to get better.